Smart objects are an extremely versatile way to work inside Photoshop, and it gives you the ability to readjust some of your filters again after you've already applied them. Inside the photo suite, it'll work with perfect effects, perfect portrait, perfect enhance, and perfect black and white. The first thing you'll need to make sure is that your photo is a smart object. You'll see in my layer stack on the bottom right hand corner of my screen, there's a small icon next to the thumbnail of my layer itself. This indicates that it's a smart object. You'll need to make sure that you have a photo layer selected if you'd like to convert it to a smart object. And to do that, just control click or right click on that layer and scroll up to convert to smart object. Once that's been selected, then we can go into a module that we'd like to edit in. I'm going to choose perfect effects. You'll see up in my on one software panel, I already have the perfect effects section open and I'm going to click on open perfect effects. Once inside on the left in the presets library, I'm going to apply a quick preset. I have a category called Liz's film presets. We'll open this up and I can scroll through until I find one that I'd like to apply. One of my favorites called Faded Type 55 Film Look. We'll click on that to add it. And then on the right hand side of the screen in my filter stack, you'll see that on top of my original layer, I have a vintage, a texturizer, and a borders layer. We're not gonna make any changes to this yet. I'm just gonna go down to the bottom right hand corner and click apply. Once you've added a preset or multiple different filters to an image through perfect effects, now you'll see in my layer stack that my original photo layer has changed. Underneath there's a mask and next to it says smart filter so I can go through and adjust that mask and then down at the bottom it says perfect effects 8 smart filter. Now when you apply a preset, let's say you come back here into Photoshop and you don't necessarily like the way that you finished it. There's a texture and a border on this image and neither I'm very happy with for this specific photo. I'd like to go back and just remove it while leaving that really nice color styling. To do so, just double click on the Perfect Effects 8 Smart Filter and it will transfer you back into Perfect Effects. On the right hand side of the screen, in the filter stack, all of the filters that were previously applied are still there and I can continue editing them. Let's start out by deleting the borders layer. I'll just go to the bottom of the filter stack, click the minus button, and now I don't have a border. Let's also say I want to change the texture. It's not necessarily my cup of tea. It doesn't look great with this image, so I want to change it. I'll just go down to the filter options pane. Let's select a different category of texture. I'm going to go up and choose paper, and then I'll choose another texture. I'm going to scroll up and choose one called old parchment. Then I can play around with things like the mode. I can play around with the opacity, as well as many other options. Once I'm done, again, I'll just go ahead and click apply. It brings me back into Photoshop and down on the bottom right hand corner, there are no added layers, no added filters. It's all just been readjusted here using the Perfect Effects 8 Smart Filter. Because I had my layer as a smart object, I can re-edit and re-edit this again. This same technique will also work inside Perfect Portrait, Perfect Enhance, and Perfect Black and White. And as long as you save this as a Photoshop file, your smart filter and smart object will remain intact.